another episode of Code with Chris, and today we're going to be talking about conditional operators within if statements. So we're going to expand on uh, what you learned in the last video about if statements. All right, let's get started. Okay, so in the last video we talked about if statements, and in this video I wanted to show you some more examples of different kinds of if statements using conditional operators. Now you can download this Xcode project from the annotation on the screen that you see right now or in the link below. So what are conditional operators? For example, if you know once again I have the age variable and let's say I wanted to have a condition where I wanted to do something if the age was 5 or 10. Now I could do something like um, if age is equal to zero, then do something. And then down here, I could have something like this, do something. And what would happen here is first it would run through this if statement, and if it, you know, if it equals zero, it would do this. Um, if it wasn't equal to zero, then I would check if it was equal to 10. Now this would be the worst way to write it. I could instead use the else if like we learned last time. So first it would check if it equals to zero. If, it, if it's not, then it would filter down to here. Um, but what I meant to actually say was do something, do, same, do the same code. The better way to write this would be something like this. If age is equal to zero or age is equal to 10, do something. Because I'm intending to do the same code in both branches, I can use these two pipes as an OR clause to chain together two conditions. So this reads, if age is 0 or 10. You can also do conditions on multiple variables. So let's say I have, you know, I have another variable called brother's age. I could do something like, you know, what I want to write is if if age is 0 and brother's age is 10, then it would become something like this. That two ampersand signs together equates to an AND clause. Let me just highlight those for you. And here is an example of checking against two variables. Now you can get even more complicated and chain together uh, various ands or ors and do something like, you know, if age is five and brother's age is five, or age is 6 and brother's age is 7. Now let's make it clear here. I want to execute some sort of code. If either this part is true, if age is 5 and brother's age is 5, or if this is true, age is 6 and brother's age is 7. So you would first start off by writing something like this. Now that's the first condition. Now you put it in in its own set of brackets and that basically groups those two things together. And now the other two condition, the, sorry, the other condition is if age is six and brother, brother's age is seven. This code will get executed if either this condition is true or this condition is true. So there you have it. With the conditional and Boolean operators, your code can now make decisions. That's pretty exciting. Uh, so until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.